Hey guys, so in this video, I am going to be filling in two more small spaces on my island. Um, they've been accumulating quite a bit with my new ideas and renovations as they go along, and they've been bothering me. So now it's about time I fill them in. So I'm going to go through the gifts I got in the mail, and I have no idea what the fudgerino that thing is. But the mom's tea set... I can actually use that maybe later on in the future. And this is just me being stupid, not re realizing that uh, a portrait I uh, I can't display anywhere. I uh, just threw it on the ground. So it's October, which means that now we get access to some pumpkin stars, which is nice. And luckily, I had Leaf on my town. Um, he sells them for an exceptionally cheap price because as you're about to see when we, a little bit, when we go to, um, the Nook store. Uh, Timmy and Tommy are running some whack-ass game where they are selling these pumpkin starters for, like, double the freaking price. Like, who are you fooling? And we're also going to get the Spooky Lantern, because that looks super freaking cool. And, oh, look at this. Did you see that price? Did you see that price? Insane. And I'm also going to buy a piece of candy because for some reason we can only get one piece of candy a day, apparently. But that's insane. So I'm hoping that if we actually need to get those candies to um, purchase items later on in the game around Halloween, um, I hope I have enough to get some cool stuff, you know? And you're going to find out that you can actually customize that little lantern there. Which is super cool, but you actually have to grow the pumpkins. Like, so once you grow the pumpkins, you can collect, or it was like three per of each color, and then you can customize the stupid uh, jack lantern. And this is just Eugene just getting in my way on this single point bridge. Yeah, no, 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 no. You were in my way. You absolutely were. There was no getting around you. He just took up all that fucking space. And I was just mad and pouting about it. Look at him. Ugh. Annoy. Anywho, so let's look at uh, filling in the small space here. So, my idea initially was to fill it in with, like, the doghouse. We customized that little plush thing that we got as a gift from our mom. Boom. Adorable. And then I was going to use that little paper cat thing. And the cat tree, but, uh, yeah, it might make it too busy. I kind of like just filling in space with, like, a simple, easy look. I don't like, um, putting in too much unless it's, like, a big space, you know what I mean? I, it, I just find that once you start shoving everything into a little area, it just makes it really inaccessible and just utterly useless. You know what I'm saying? And I felt like the whole time I'm doing this, like, Eugene is just fuming. Like, he's just walking around just, like, effing fuming. He was so mad about that whole bridge incident. Look at him. And he's just angrily, like, sweeping up the place. Ugh. Whatever. He was at fault. And he's just gonna have to live with it. And now I'm trying to go through every possible item that I have in my pockets that might be able to fill up this little space here. I don't really like how it's empty, but pretty much everything that I have is not going to look good here. Like, even the deer scare. Ugh. Just looks a little bit much. Just a little bit too much. So what I think I'm going to do is that I am just going to leave it for a bit and I'll come back to it and um I'll see if there's something like smaller that I can use to fill that space or even like more space here in general in the future but for now it looks pretty good I think it looks quite all right oof Eugene did you see the way he looked at me when he walked around me he's like this bitch fuck you oh, I'm gonna get the fuck out before he uh assaults me with the dang broom Alright, so this is a second area that I'm ready to work on. So I'm ready to go back to my house. But first, let's see if I got anything good. I didn't. I got a stupid vacuum cleaner. I never get anything good from those freaking balloons. It's always bullshit that I can't do anything with. 
but whatever. I'm gonna go back, check my closet, get everything that I need, and I'm just gonna try my diddly arm best to uh, make the best of that space. And I don't know if you guys have noticed, but like when you use the different fountains, like the watercolor changes, not just the rocks, like the watercolor changes, there's little like add-ons and stuff. And the one that I picked, I didn't even realize, but this thing has like a little frog. Do you see it? The little frog there on the, by the little spout? Oh, that's funky as hell. Love it. So I'm going to take this time to update you on uh, how Krista the intern is doing with the internship. Um, well, guess what guys? Fun fact, my major is in public health for my master's degree and um, my internship involves me having to deal with a hospital. Not just one singular hospital, but an entire system of hospitals from my area. And the other day, I actually had to leave my house to go to one of said um, medical facilities and um, collect a laptop so I could uh, work properly from home because we've had nothing but tech issues, which is funny because the department that I am doing my internship under is, is the technology department of the hospitals and oh my gosh I will I can't even describe how spoopy it was to try to drive up to the hospital then I had to walk into the facility and the only thing that I could think of like all that was constantly on my mind is oh god hope I don't get COVID you know what I mean I'm just like Oh man, I better not get COVID. I better not get COVID during this internship. Like your girl working here for free. I better not get any COVID. Oh my god. But um, yeah, it it didn't go very well. And by it didn't go very well, I mean it was maybe maybe twenty minutes expected. I was supposed to walk in, get the laptop, and do a special sign in thing, so you can be registered into their wireless system. And then I'd hop back in my car, go home, and take a Lysol bath. Ugh. But I thought wrong. I was actually stuck in this facility for over an hour. Because I still didn't have access to the drives I needed to to have my data to do my data analysis job. And I think things just really got real when I saw the IT guy who is trying to help my uh, co-worker and I get access to these drives um, on phone. Oh, he was on the phone with IT. When the IT guy is on the phone with IT, you know it isn't good. Like, oh my gosh. Like, you, you know that, like, something's really wrong. Anywho, after... An hour of just sitting there, ready to diarrhea shit myself because I don't want to catch COVID. I was finally able to go home and uh, leave the laptop in an isolated area and uh, disinfected it. And now I'm going to wait a couple days before I even touch it. <laughs> oh god, like this is my life. This is my life, guys. But um, you know what? Hopefully in the end, like something comes up from this internship and I finally you know <laughs> Chris of the intern becomes Chris of the employee you know I want that kind of growth I want that I want that livable income you know what I'm saying I just uh, man I really hope that I get something from this internship you know nothing worse than working for free all that time and all you get is a little coronavirus oof Alright, so that little simple sign thing that I made fits perfectly in this spot. I might go back, might change the pattern on it so it shows like a dog instead of a cat, but you know what? I kind of like the irony in it. It's kind of funny. Alright, and there's the end of the video. Hope you guys enjoyed it, and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye!